Rulo is a clever 12-year-old's little robot. He lives in the land of fun in the small town of Mechanica. His city is not as large, nor does it have the same opportunities as Trampoli, the capital of the land. But its inhabitants are hospitable and hard-working people, reputed across the world for their inventions. Rulo leads a happy life here. He does the same things as all children. He goes to school, he reads, he plays on his computer and spends time with his friends. He loves history and timepieces, both being passions that he inherited from his grandfather, a renowned watchmaker who used to say that time is fair as it does not discriminate against anyone. Watches help us keep track of time and history reminds us of all the things it left behind. This year, Rulo has advanced to the Land's History Competition and he hopes he'll go further to the International Phase. The International History Competition is a prestigious event where all parents want to see their children participate. Unfortunately, this year it appears that many hard-working children will miss the chance to complete fairly at the local phase, as all the rules have been thrown out of the window. This year, the local phase has been organised in Trampoline, and the most important families in the capital have decided to ignore the rules of the contest. After they intimidated the organisers of the competition into submission, they decided that all the children will be evaluated based on their exam performance, but at the next stage will advance only those children by their representative. A week before the competition, Rulo learns of this change. Although upset, he doesn't let the news discourage him. Instead, he chooses to write a letter to the organisers, explaining to them how the history competition should be run. Thus, Rulo writes that the contest should be organised around general and fair rules, and not on the basis of arbitrary decisions by certain people. The competition has to have fair and general guidelines, and it has to serve the general interest and not that of a group. The results have to be compliant with these guidelines, and not with the wishes of certain people. Only in this framework will the competition be run normally, encouraging performance among children. Touched by Rulo's letter, the organisers decide to revise their decision and to stand up against the intimidation actions of the families of Trampoline. In the end, the contest is held according to fair regulation and Rulo gets the chance to compete with other children. Do you agree with the way that Rulo responded to the situation? Should rules be designed with fairness in mind? In what other situations do you believe it's right that people respect general and fair rules as opposed to being subjected to the desires of certain groups?